Hey Summit, this is Edward and you know this guy Jake and this is your weekly update. Make sure you post this on all your platforms to make sure we get the word out of what's going on. We do have quite a few things happening this month. Uh, hopefully you've been keeping up and watching these and paying attention and listening on Sunday morning when you do that offering talk and you kind of give some announcements. So let me mention a couple things that's coming up. Jake's going to talk about a couple things as well. Uh, coming in October, October the 3rd, both events are happening on October the 3rd. Number one, we're doing baby dedication. And so if you have a child that has not been dedicated uh, and you would like to be a part of that uh, um, service, you can contact Kristen, our preschool pastor, and she can get you all lined up on that. Uh, I think that's going home in those emails and you're hearing about that this week, but we just want you to be aware of that. That's a few weeks away. We'll blink, it'll be October 3rd and it'll be here. Also on that same day on October the 3rd, I'm really excited about this. We are um, having- Gonna have a now. Night of worship. Uh, I had to think about that for about a nanosecond. Yeah, it's a, a night of worship. And we used to do these uh, years ago. And now with Andrew being here, he's starting to put these up back on the calendar. This will be our first one. It'll be at 530 on October the 3rd, a night of worship. That is a Sunday. So it's a Sunday. If your small, small group meets on a Sunday evening, we want to encourage you yes. to, to carve out October 3rd, come to night of worship yeah. as a small group and then go out to dinner afterwards or hang out or maybe cook dinner before mm -hmm. and make that your small group for that night. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be so good uh, to do that. That's what we're going to do. So uh, you guys plan on that. Bring somebody with you. Invite them. It's going to be a great night. Also, September the 22nd, it's a Wednesday. Our student ministry will be doing See You at the Pole. That's where they gather at the flagpole at their schools. Early in the morning. Early, early, early. Way, way early. Kind of like than, Jesus when uh, he would get up very early. Very early in the morning. Got an interesting got fact up. about Jesus that I found in the scriptures yeah. here in my study. And I'll you read? Bring, I'll bring that up you here in a minute. You read the scriptures? Uh -huh. Man, that's good. Yeah. I'm proud of you for doing that. That's good. So anyway, so, uh, if you have a student, 6th through 12th grade, make sure you're uh, letting them know what's going on because it's going to be some cool stuff stuff happening that day students all over the united states praying together now jake i know you got a couple of things uh we've got grief support this sunday it's uh one of our biggest ministries i know there's a lot of stuff going on there's a lot of grieving going on we need you to get the word out uh contact the church they meet right after the church they you don't have to talk you don't have to share you can just sit there and let those uh people love on you um yeah, so we've got student ministry on Wednesdays, kid venture on Wednesdays, and uh, you need to make sure that you get in contact with Ashley because this Wednesday, this next Wednesday, will be the older kids, third through fifth grade. Edward, you gonna sing us a tune, and then I'll let you know what I learned in the scriptures. You know what this, this goes is? with my last. You know what album. this is? It's a guitar. And you know what? I do not know how to play it. Uh, but I bet some of you do. And so this is why I brought this guitar out. This is my kid's guitar. I don't play it, okay? But uh, Andrew was talking this last week. We have a ton of folks signing up to sing. And uh, we know there's some of you out there that maybe you used to play. Maybe you played a long time ago. It doesn't have to be the guitar and be the piano. It can be the bass, drums, the, the drums, bass, electric guitar, saxophone, acoustical uh, guitar. Acoust acoustical guitar so we want to encourage you if you have um, a talent don't hide that talent use that Andrew would love to connect with you Andrew at summitheightsfellowship.com a new worship pastor been here since June you may not know him maybe you do uh, but you need to get to know him and, and some of you may go man I hadn't played since I was in junior high that's I hadn't all played right. since college that's all right We'll, we'll let you uh, kind of knock the rust off for a little while, but we would love to have you a part of that. If you know somebody in the church uh, that plays, encourage them uh, that they'll learn how or right. they'll uh, do it. So what else you got, Jeff? All right, you big announcement. Big announcement. Now, many of you may not know this, but Jesus played golf. Now, you've got to do uh, exegetical, hermeneutical type study. Gymnastics? In the Gospels. That would be gymnastics. But it's in there. It's in there if you know the Greek and the Aramaic. Jesus played golf. And so we want to honor Jesus in our youth ministry and raise some money for our kids to go to camp. So we're having this awesome benefit golf tournament. We've got 20 sponsors that have already chipped in to sponsor the golf tournament. And now we need teams. It's going to be a four-man best ball 
scramble. So when you think about it, the disciples, that was 12 of them, they would have had three teams, okay? Jesus could be one guy and do, like Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and then, you know, just have a three-man team. But the disciples, they would have had three teams because 12 divided by three is four. Now, you guys need to get your team together. You golfers, we know we've got some golfers in our church. You need to get with me or David Bright and sign up your four-man team so we can raise some money for our kids to go to youth camp. That's gonna be awesome. I was so excited when I read that this week. I think it was in Matthew. That it's good stuff, man. It would be exegetical eisegesis, not exegesis. Well, it's in there, and we're gonna play golf on Saturday, October the 9th. That's the more important and thing. And we're gonna raise money to send our youth ministry kids to camp this summer. That, that's probably the more important thing. So do uh, what Jesus would have done, from a theological... WWJD, and let's play some golf. Yeah, from a theological standpoint, we probably can't find that in Scripture, but I appreciate his effort to do that. Make sure you get signed up for that. It's going to be a fun day. Lots of uh, freebies. And yeah, we'll have some stuff. raffles. Food, are they going to feed? And, and we'll have food? lunch. Yeah, those burgers. Man, those it's going to be good. Out, out, out there really You got good. a team together? Uh, no, I don't. So, I got my team together. Uh, yeah, doing a staff team, and I didn't get invited. We're, we want to win, dude. Me and Andrew Marshall. I see how it is. We're going to win. I see how it is. Sunday, 10 a.m. Make sure you invite somebody to be with you. Summit Heights Fellowship, we love you. Cannot wait to see you on Sunday as we continue our series on the compliments of Jesus. People he complimented and uh, excited about what God has for us this week. Got anything else, Jake? Nope. See ya. Love ya. I guess. <laughs>